that's me there zipping down our hill to the markets. It's steeper than it looks actually. And here's where the stalls will be in just a few hours as I use my bike as a shopping cart. And I make my purchases of organic good stuff. Nice bike actually. Yeah, it works well. If necessary, I can tote about 30 kilos up the hills to home. My bike is electric, I should add. But there's another point that I'd like to make. Yeah, if you don't say. This. There we go. Have a good day. How many of your customers come like me with, on a bike here? Maybe just you. <laughs> uh, there is a few bikes. But, but not a lot. No. His partner from Holland knows what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah we, do, we do everything by bike. Yes, small businesses like this, it's perfect for the bike because you have a basket like I do over there, yes. you know, and you load it up at a small business. You don't go to a supermarket on a bike, do you really? You don't have problems parking. The problem with this country is it's not a bicycle friendly country. I'm doing a, a survey about bike transport. Would you ever think of using a bike to come to the shops? Yes, I'd love to. By a happy coincidence, I've just got some revealing footage from Violetta Brana Lafoucard, who shoots for me in Europe. That's Violetta in the straw hat there, and munching on some market melon. Her brief is to get me footage of bikes that will inspire my bike art, like this wonderful tableau of a family out shopping. The kid who's already arrived and the one on the way. She'd caught a market day in Groningen and suddenly I realized that there was another way of seeing this footage. That this market was all about bike traffic. About shoppers who do obviously small purchase runs, probably do them frequently rather than perhaps going in a car to a supermarket. It made me think that we could make a case that in Europe, markets and small-scale shops probably depend for their very existence on bike traffic. Now, if that's true, what a chance we're missing here for a useful alliance between bike advocates like me and small shopkeepers and their representatives like Chambers of Commerce. I mean, there's a natural synergy there to be exploited. Before leaving Ronigan, I noticed two other interesting things. I see no fat cyclists in Groningen. How much money is that saving the Dutch government, I wonder? And cycling doesn't endanger status, it seems. And so, with some ideas to test, I went looking for a Sydney market which might have some bike traffic where I could stop. Everly Markets in Newtown seemed like a good place to start. Hi. Yes, I am. Okay, so I like not having to park. Yes. I like not getting in and out of car. It's what relaxing. About the, it's the, much more relaxing. Yes, what I about the though. difficulty of not being able to carry very much? I only shop according to what I buy and you go more often. There's only so much you can eat. She's just got a basket. I usually have a yes, basket. Yes, where's your basket? <laughs> I didn't bring it today because yeah. we actually only came for breakfast. <laughs> Don't go away, I want to get you too. Oh. Come back. We only wanted to get, we're from Bondi. Yes. And um, we only came for breakfast, so we didn't okay. actually come to do the shopping. But, but you are do, a bike shop, I mean, anyway. totally, only, yeah. yeah. And I usually take my basket when I want to do that. Right. I, I love getting around my bike. I get around faster than a lot of the cars just because I have a short commute. Um, and I get my blood moving in the beginning of the day, so, yeah. But you do, how do you carry stuff? Just in your pack? Just in my pack, usually, yeah, yeah, and usually that's enough. Shopping on bikes. Well, look, um, Ira, my wife, has a, a basket, so, so yes, she's, she's quite well equipped. <laughs> um, whereas I have to resort to a kind of, you know, more manly um, yes. solution, this, this, this backpack solution. So the basket would be too feminine for you, would it? It would be for me. But apart from that, what do you think about the idea of, of trying to get Chambers of Commerce in Australia to see that bike shopping could actually help their members to, to do better? 
Yeah, ab absolutely, it, it, it does. And then, you know, and shopping is kind of the, the, the heart of commerce and trade. And so bikes can play a kind of fundamental role in, in serving that exchange and, and building that community. Yeah, yeah. And, and perhaps, I mean, that's interesting. I mean, may, maybe bikes being sort of smaller and more portable can kind of support that boutique Yes. That boutique approach. It's really nice shopping with the bike, but then um, you have to be quick in getting it all home before it melts. Yes. Yeah. So you do small shopping? Uh, no, we just bought lots. So we have two full backpacks of food and my basket. And yeah. now you're rushing home before it melts? Yeah, exactly, because we have about half an hour to ride home. Yeah, but, but it's the nicest way to do it. I do it a lot. Yeah. Certainly on the weekends, yeah. while I'm cycling, this is a regular stop. I go down to the fish market, often on uh, bike. But you're obviously also a car owner. A what? You have a car as well. No, I do not. I don't own. A, I haven't owned a car in 25 years. More than that. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you do it? Uh, convenience. Really? It's it's so much more easier. Uh, than um, having a car when you live in the inner city. So you don't have a car? We don't own a car. Uh, it's actually easier for us to get around by this method than it is uh, by having a car and finding parking places. The problem with cycling in Sydney in general is that it's not really ever seen as a transport solution and only ever seen as a recreational activity. And it's Yeah, and it's not until we stop and really think about it as, a, as an actual uh, transport solution then then our attitudes aren't going to change. So, uh... Of course, using bikes for transport is one of the quaint things that the Dutch do, isn't it? A bit like the French eating snails. And so it's hard for us to draw inspiration from there. But Montreal is a different story. North American city, much more like ours. Up till 96, when I lived there, you would not call it a bike place at all. But then after I left, along came the Bixies, which were the public bikes that you don't have to worry about being stolen, breaking down, they're there for the taking. Now, people don't shop much on Bixies. They're more for A to B. But they do open up to non-riders the idea of bikes as transport. And private bikes are now used everywhere in Montreal for shopping, just like they are in Europe. Violetta, who also filmed this material in Montreal, found a guy who made a really good point. And one I hope that Chambers of Commerce would think about. Do you think it's good for commerce? This? Oh, absolutely. I mean, especially with Montreal, too. I mean, there's all these little, uh, and, and like, and then a little shop in the corner that you'd never ever, like, seen before. And, like, you simply park your bike and you go in. And mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, that's much easier than when you take cars. Yeah, no, you're, you're pretty much locked into a car once you're in. Whereas, in, like, you can just string up your bike. Or even a lot, of, a lot of shops allow you to bring your bike in there. Now, there you have it. When you're on a bike, it's so easy to stop. You might smell bread and you stop. You see a shop you want to go into. You see a sign that you wouldn't be able to read from a car and it makes you stop. A street display, books on the sidewalk or something. You're in the thick of commerce. You're a hunter-gatherer. Now cars, of course, do a good job of bringing business to regional shopping centers. Whereas bikes are like sprinklers. They water the whole commercial garden. It was time to find out what a chamber of commerce might think of all this. I went to Five Dock, a flattish area of Sydney with lots of small shopping clusters. And I found the head of their chamber of commerce, Joe Di Giacomo, who's also a teacher of Italian and a lover of art. Yes, five I dog. For five dog. You, so what you, do you think? Well, you, your ideas and your comments were quite interesting looking at it. I'd see maybe our area to be perhaps uh, down the track, uh, the ideal place for people to come and do shopping on a bike. Uh, well, would you be prepared to advance this idea in some way with council, for example? 
I, th I think it'd be very, very feasible. I think council would be very interesting. I would imagine even our shopkeepers would be quite happy to see uh, some of their, their friends coming along and do the shopping uh, on a daily basis on their bike. Do you think they would put uh, bike racks or allow bike racks well, to be put? I think, and I think there could be a combination with council and shopkeepers to look at that yeah. idea and that concept. The only thing that I can think of is that uh, our community needs to change their habits, I think, of uh, weekly shopping to more of a daily shopping, which would be a great thing. We, we would be able to see more and more people in our streets every day, other than only once a week, perhaps. So where to from here? You'll take this and discuss it with Well, I'm happy, I'm happy to talk, A, to, to my members, obviously, to the shopkeepers, but more importantly, I think councils should get involved in this, and uh, I would imagine they'd be very uh, interested in looking at the idea. Maybe we can even test it somewhere to begin with and see what the effect of that could be. Well, I'll provide you with a movie as a, a sort of calling card to the idea. Oh, that'd be fantastic. And maybe at the next meeting, we just have a good look at the, how to go shopping on a bike.